Hello everybody, welcome back, and here's part two of the AVGN Adventures Race. So if everyone's ready, we're gonna go on one, three, two, one. Let's go back to the future with now, bowling balls. Paying, paying attention to the pause screen, yeah, I do apologize if, if one of the options has swearing in it, but this, this is an M-rated game, so there's nothing we can do about welcome it. Welcome to AVGN Adventures. If you don't like swearing, <laughs> too bad. You know what? Welcome you to know, AVGN you know, you could, in general. Uh, black bar. <laughs> the entire game would be black bar by the end. <laughs> if there's no that point. entire level would just be black barred. Oh, okay, then you can just use the fuzz thing. He'd have to censor the entirety of the screen when he got to Atari porn. Actually, does that count as porn? Cole, here's your solution. You just upload the entire thing in low quality. Uh, okay, <laughs> It'll run better. Over. It'll run better. You're not wrong. <laughs> okay, I guess I'll try the candy time. Uh, <laughs> I'm afraid uh, if he does that. <laughs> that would be... Eh. If it was worth uploading a gag video, I would do that, but... It... Video yep. space is a thing. Ah! Dang it. But not really on YouTube, but like... Eh. On your computer and whatnot. I don't know. If we're gonna upload a gag video, we're gonna do it right. Everyone just plays the Atari porn video, and you just hear the sounds of someone moaning in the background. Hmm. Oh now, we just need oh, a, now we just need a volunteer. Any victims I volunteer. in the chat? Any good victims in the chat room? I volunteer as tribute. Any Use unexpected Opie. victims in the chat room? Just ask them if they can do us a favor. Use Opie. He's not in the chat room uh, anymore. Oh, oh, yeah, oh, Opie is no longer part of this server. Well, then I nominate Henry a perfect quest. Okay, good. Okay, yeah, he wasn't here. Yeah, All he was right. supposed to be here. That works. Exactly, that's why he- oh god, I forgot about that part, oh. Yep, that's kinda how this game will go. Oh, oh, I forgot about that part, Ah! No, I didn't oh. die, but I'm just like, oh god, that part. Ah. Yeah, but that's this game in a nutshell. You should've gone for the toaster. I yeah. forgot this part, Ah! Oh, okay, I was supposed to go up, not across, okay. I get it. Good. I didn't go down in time. Hello, Naked Witch. Goodbye, Naked Witch. Ow. Right up here, you logs. Log up. Okay. Not night time to die. Ah! Is there a way to get him to stay in place while Two. shooting so Nerd. Uh, uh, the press maybe. left is sometimes how you have to stabilize yourself. Or pressing the opposite direction, you have to stabilize yourself. Okay, there sometimes. we go. Okay, got it. Is that what are you based on what I said, or did you just figure it out? I just figured it out. Okay. Well, maybe, Not, glad I could help. Else. You're welcome. Okay, I think Good so thing. far in this level, everything's going well so far. Haven't gotten too many deaths off the bat, but... He says that now. Okay, no. Welcome to AVGN Adventures. It gives you an inch, and then it takes your asshole. <laughs> but, no, I don't want that taken. Sorry. It's, it comes with a cost. Like, when you bought the game, you signed a contract saying, I will forfeit my asshole. Oh. Dang it. Dang uh, it. Okay. Friends hey. are dead. The family's dead. The pets are being skinned alive. Hey, J hey. Uh, hey J J just because it's an m rated game doesn't mean the the, the the PG role doesn't still apply on this channel. PG or PG-13? No, just, no. just beep, just beep it in there. Yeah, because... <laughs> Just no, keep just it in there yourself, but we won't mind. Yeah, Ooh! Yeah. Yeah, so... You know, I also, um, since, <laughs> uh, since in the last video we referenced the, uh, Spiral Race, Damn. I... One thing I do remember is that that was the one race where I admitted the reason why I, I prefer everyone keeping swearing down to a minimum in my race. Not the first time. No, that was Crash. Oh, 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 did I do it there? I, I you, you brought I that did. up in... No, you brought the crash reference to that up in there. Ah, oh, okay, all right. All right. I, I make the best yeah. moments. I know what's in almost every video, I've been, especially the ones I've been in. Yeah. Because those are the ones hey. I pay the most attention to. Uh, that's why I like doing the best yeah. moments thing. Gives me a chance, reason yep, to pay cause... attention to everybody else's stuff. Yep, and since uh, since Sub wasn't with us at the time, I will explain to him. It has something to do with oh that happened after my participation with two of RPGM's races. I have no idea what that means. Okay. 
Look, if you don't want swearing, that's just fine. Uh -huh. I don't judge. Okay. Unless you're a Nazi, okay. then I judge. <laughs> well, I mean... To be fair, I completely justify with that one. Um, I like to believe so. What the hell? Okay, green smiley thing. Ah, too far! Okay, now the timing thing where you literally need timing. Uh, um, or, or a lot of health. Ow. Forgot that goes backwards. Okay. Forwards and backwards. <sighs> Come on. Forward and to the toaster. back and then forward and back. But I pretty much took a hit every time, so... It was not impressive. I was just... I Yo, just have a health I gotta bar. say, seeing all these smiley faces in this level makes me want to think this this maybe should have been called the emoji level. <laughs> Act, the I, movie came out, so I no. like that idea. <laughs> I actually like that idea. <laughs> Not far enough. Yeah, because because uh, people say that this movie called the Emoji Movie Oops. was one of the worst ever made. Yes. But... I. That's kind of why I like that idea that you had that thought, Cole. Well, I've never seen the Emoji Movie. So Good. I, I. So I don't even have an opinion. Good. Uh, don't make an opinion out of dang it. The movie is terrible. Well, that, that would explain. Well, Cinema Sins actually sinned uh, the Emoji Movie. <laughs> they sinned everything. The what yep. Was it like over nine thousand? No, <laughs> probably. No, they don't send every single movie. Like, oh, they're, they're, uh, I mean, there's a lot of holiday movies they haven't sinned, which uh, their tagline I, is no die movies without sin. Horse. The heck is a hit bar. Ah. Like the, the only two holiday movies I know they actually have sinned were the were the first two Home Alone movies. Also, the Grinch. Uh, oh yeah, that that was with a special guest, the Nostalgia Critic. Now I Which Grinch? Okay, the live yeah. action one. Health pickup. And I wasted it immediately. Yeah. They, they, no, the which Grinch? It was the one starring oh. Jim Carrey. Okay, so I the bad one. Live action one. And, and like I said, I like that it, one. It was featuring special guest, the Nostalgia Critic. Yep. Oh, colorful and evil. Yep. And like his saying Why goes, pick up the first goes healing? I remember it, so you don't have to. He, he's weird right now. For other reasons. Mm -hmm. Or the situation's weird. The situation is very, very weird for the critic right now. Yep. Oops. And let's not talk about it. Uh, yeah. Good idea. Yeah. Let's just leave it at that. Um... Oh, I saw the Dirty Harry one lately. Dirty Harry yeah, and Earthbound. I liked it because it was like a return to the classic stuff. He's better at reviewing classic games than new ones. Yeah. Though I do appreciate his uh, review for Earthbound. That was a really good one. Like, I like yeah, uh, his 06 review was ick. Well, he also did a part two for that, which was uh, questionable. Yeah, he didn't even... If you want a, a big rant on that one, there's a guy who does it better. It was mostly because, like, his name more is modern Aaron games are past his time, so he doesn't really know how to talk about them as well as Yeah. Else. It was, uh, was it the J-Man or something? No, what's his name? Oh, I also, oh, by the way, I beat the happy level. Nice. I'm defeating I the... This is what I need to that. Soon to be renamed the emoji level. <laughs> I still like that. If that doesn't become the name of the episode, I don't know what will. <laughs> Gold doesn't well, name his these races. That's no, no fun. Nope. No, I don't give them titles because I don't really see the point in doing so. Well, it's flavor Dang text. It. That is, um... I, I honestly think that decision's up to the maker. I consider it flavor text, which can sometimes be hilarious if you... Oh, I, okay, I, well, I, I agree. Well, but I think it's up to that. That's very leeway really to the creator in that. Thing. Okay, yeah, seeing this unicorn thing. now, he makes this makes me wonder if AVGN is secretly a brony. No, no. <laughs> he has been asked that question, and his his first answer was no. Oh, oh, so other people wonder that too. Yep. <laughs> oh wait, oh wait, this this unicorn has wings. He's not a unicorn. He's an alicorn. <laughs> 
Well, the nerd persona itself just hates everything, so he hates cute. That's why the, that's why the unit, the alicorn must die. He doesn't hate everything. <laughs> what what does he not hate aside from non shitty games? Uh, yeah, no, it's basically hates good games, but he never plays those. He gets bored. Except for Mario Three. Yep. And then he has to fight Satan. That that one that was the weird one, probably one of the weirdest love weirdest no weirdest episodes, episodes he's ever done because it, it it's not so a bad good. game it's just really weird he's not even really a review it's more a review of the wizard than um well, Mario three no. Mario three is just more him going to start his like the the father and of his it. conspiracy theory Woo. stuff he does which he's very hey, good at. Yeah, but, though I am glad he didn't okay, do the whole Earthbound conspiracy to... thing with what Gygus is. He just kind of left okay, it. No, he stop. had a conspiracy for it, but it was a good one. He kind of did, but he also said he like wasn't serious about it as much. Oops. Okay, I know, I know. But I liked his theory. Yeah. He Better puts thought theory. into his stupid, crazy theories, though. A lot of conspiracy theorists cause should take note. I just remember I have rocks on this shark. I'd throw three kinds of attacks. Ah! For just because why? Because I can. Why not? I mean, Nickelodeon told me I can, so I can do it, right? There we go. That's was Nickelodeon's excuse for everything. So what? If I can do it, I can, right? Because why not? Yeah. Spend so much time thinking about whether or not you. I'm could, the Lord of the Harvest. Whether or not you. Bring it down! Oh. Bring it down! Well, that's what he said. Oh, uh, since uh, since Mark brought Nickelodeon, have any of you guys uh, actually catched out? Can checked out Double Dare 2018 yet? It's not out yet. No, Double Dare 2018 premiered uh, this past Monday. Did it? Yeah. Sport. I thought it premiered in 2017. No, it didn't. It was still <laughs> like being worked on. They announced it in 2017. Ah. Yep. <laughs> yeah, and unlike Double Dare 2000, they actually brought back Mark Summers. I found the pickle thing. It's the giant claw. It's as big as a battleship. <laughs> 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 yeah, and, and, and ever since, I, I actually wonder if the Game Show Reviewer will do a five-minute review on Double Dare 2018. Because he already did a full review of Double Dare up to Double Dare 2000. Wait, um... Wait, the, the, the claw is just a bad monster movie thing. Yeah, the giant claw. The one that's as big ah. as a battleship, right? <laughs> it's not actually that big. It would be awesome if ah, it was. Close. Huh? What? Am I going backwards? Probably. May have to jump down. No. Uh, okay. I didn't. Okay, yeah, I played this again through recently, just for grims and giggles after I beat the game. But I, did, oh, I did the ice level after the happy level. So, um, and you can guess how that went. Terribly. And there's the giant claw dead. That's four stages for me. Oh, look at that blood everywhere. Wait, am I going back? No, I don't think so. That was well. backwards. Or no more heroes. Where am I going? I don't know. Where are you going? Uh, uh, I was having me go left, I think. In the hell level. Oh, yeah. Platformer logic tells you to go right, but ABGN says, screw that, you're going left. Right, right, right. Wait. Now I'm confused. But yeah, from what I've heard, the sequel to this game, uh, Assimilation, is much better. And, lo and it looks What do you mean better. by better? Uh, less stupid. It's basically ah. Mario World, in terms of, like, overworld. You get a bunch of upgrades, kind of like Super Metroid. There's all kinds of cool stuff in it. Why would you dedicate a good game to this guy? I mean, it's still kind of bullshit in some parts, including the last level being a Virtual Boy joke. <laughs> oh. Well... At least I didn't let's play the Virtual Boy, uh, Purple. A Virtual Boy Purple? Well, uh, my Wario Land Virtual Boy LP was purple. Oh. I, I when I watched Dentu review that game, he just turned to grayscales to make it much easier to look at. Well, it, you see, the emulator I used, uh, I was not using real Virtual Boy, screw that. Um, uh, I don't even own one. Uh, it had red and blue as the colors for the uh, different images. And when you combine uh, them together so it made a clear image, it made it all purple. So the purple boy, got it. Yeah, it it worked. It was a very good game, though. 
Yeah, that's the thing. The Virtual Boy had good games. The problem was that it was the Virtual Boy. Yeah. They had an Atlas game on there. Yep, Jack Bros, but that game's super rare, so good luck trying to find it. I'm just surprised Atlas made something for the Virtual Boy. Actually, one cool thing about the Virtual Boy Wario Land, you, you know, like, the... It, it was basically, like, the original. They had, like, a flying hat and a dragon hat. Yep. You could, could bind them together in the Virtual One. Okay, that's actually kind of cool. And you had properties of both. That's actually really cool, then. I have 14 lives to get through hell. Let's do this. All I need is a... All I need is a BFG. This will be your joke. A cakewalk. Okay, I see what's going on here. Destroy them, my mecha god! Essentially. Ow! Oh, I forgot about that one. I told you! That's what this game... You, you denied it, but no, it happened again. Dang it. Well, no, I said I denied it earlier because I didn't get killed from it. Uh-huh. Whatever. Uh, what are we doing there? Uh, am I the, the devil yet? You'll know you're at the devil when you're just going up the street. I don't know. I don't know. I feel like I'm falling forever. I don't know if I'm at the devil yet. Ah. Okay, checkpoint. He has no hands. No wonder he can't oh. attack. He has no hands. Oh, well. All right. This doesn't stop him from touching me with his face. Okay, game over. His face is tougher hey, than my too. entire body. Yep. You know what feels embarrassing in Mega Man? Actually, now I think about it. Right, actually, we'll try the dungeon. Well, again. The Mega Man Four. The snail's yeah. eyes are tougher than Mega Man. Oh yeah, those things. <laughs> that, when you think about it that way, it kind of feels embarrassing. Well, it's more insulting if you died a Toad Man. Those eyes are tougher than Toad Man, then, you're saying? Yes. Because if you died to Toad Man, uh, you're well, No, 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 there is a way to die to Toad Man. Uh, if you're trying charge shots too hard. That's why you don't charge shot, you just mash the buster. That's the only way, if you're trying, if you're overdoing zealous with charge shots. So that is literally the only way. Because the charge shot isn't all that useful in 4, it's, in 5 it's broken. Well, yeah, in, uh, I've been playing the, uh, Game Boy ones lately, and Toad Man, oh, you can actually are, charge shot him in the Game Boy one. Game those Boy are 4. completely different. I know. Oh, oh, I know the Game Boy ones are different. I played them a lot because they're 3DS Virtual Console. And I've yeah. killed the devil. Well, good job. Uh, Armageddon wasn't that bad, guys. Nope. I mean, if Satan was that easy to kill, Armageddon's gonna be much easier to deal with. Uh, okay. You know what? I think places are solidified. Uh, screw it! I'm dying to the overzealous death trap. It's worth doing, it's worth overdoing. Besides, you know what? If we do if we do a uh you know what, I might do this. If we do a uh I wanna be the guy race, um I'm gonna say you have to die to the sword wooden sword, and you have to die to Dracula's speech. <laughs> I don't know if we can do I wanna be the guy. Technically we can, I don't know if you can um you might have technical difficulties would be the only issue. It's a PC oh, game. Is it? Okay. That's a very light PC game. Gold's had trouble with PC games. I I am aware. He uses his... I think his Wii is more powerful than his computer. That's sad. Yeah, yeah it, it, it... Yeah, I know. Well, uh, I'm jumping on mushrooms. This is not Mario Brothers, and... All right, J Jekyll and Hyde. They're the boss. Yeah, the second the the, the second lowest uh, video game rank in terms of how bad games can be, according to him. Darkwing Duck. Hmm. 
<laughs> then there's Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. And in the game, there's stuff below that, the stuff that shouldn't be games at all. Like Hong Kong 97. Or Big Rigs. Do we count Big Rigs as a game? It, it, the category, category or uh, plumbers don't wear ties. Yeah. That's probably the worst one, in my opinion. Yeah, it's because that that's not a game. That, that's an if exercise. If it was game. even full motion, it'd be passable for what it is. All right, that's Jekyll and Hyde done. Is. But it's not. There's nothing about that thing that's passable. It's just terrible. I and mean, the title doesn't even make sense. Who wears a tie in the, in the game? And the, uh, the big rigs, you can get entertainment for like 10 minutes with all the glitches. Plumbers don't wear ties. You get entertainment out of the first 10 seconds. <laughs> if that. And mostly because of the nerd's reaction to the first 10 seconds. Where he's just like, this is interesting. Oh, this judgment. All right, let's take Alf. All right, the power of music. Oh, I nope. Oh, I was right there, stupid. Part of me is glad I did. You know, if I just take these one at a time, I don't die. What a that concept! Was... That's not, that can't be right. You gotta rush it. I'm not Russian. No. <laughs> Wait. You're American. That only, only works because we speak English. Anyway. There we go. Let's see what's here. Um, oh. Haha, you almost got me there. <laughs> Alright, the pumpkin heads are basically the Medusa. That was an interesting way to die, actually. What? Um, okay, so I was timing this platform, disappearing platform thing, and then I forgot to notice the, um, death blocks from above. I, I even dodged these fall-over blocks, and I just jumped too high and hit the blocks above me. They've been there all along, just didn't oh, notice. Great. the most painful part of this stage, block snake. <laughs> okay, let's see. Is that the closest block? Yeah. Oh, wait. There's not even a cliff here! What the hell? Why was I so afraid? There's nothing to wait fear, but fear it's... Never but fear itself. Sure. But again, I tried to justify why fear is a good thing in one of my stories, go. so... Or it can be. I mean, fear is important. You need it to recognize when something is legitimately life-threatening. Yeah, stuff like that. If there's anything inside out, Tom, is that all of your emotions are important, whether you want them to be or not. Yep. That is a good movie. That is a great movie. That is literally... I went to take my niece to see that while he was still in the theater. That is the only time I can think of where I've actually cried in the theater. I mean, that's a legitimately good reason to cry. That's that's a powerful message. Yep. Uh, it's, okay. You, it's okay to cry. So, it's okay to how, are, how far are you, Sub-Zero? Yeah. Stage five, I'm doing Boo Haunted House. Oh! Oh. Ah! Oh. oh. Disappearing blocks over death, huh? Yep. I'm oh, glad this so isn't a pig over here. Uh, what's it? A, a, a emulatable game. Because then I wouldn't have sound. <laughs> and you're gonna need sound cues a lot for some of the later parts. Alf, where, how are you doing, Sonic Geek? I'm still doing the Castlevania. Managed to get up to the boss, and I know how he works, but I got a game over. If you match the button, you can kill him in two cycles. Yeah. Yeah, well, I didn't mash hard enough. Remember, kids, if it doesn't, if at first you don't succeed, you need to mash harder. <laughs> Gotta make Clearly. those potatoes work. We need more mashed potatoes. The world needs more of them. They are delicious, after all. Yes. All right, bats. Ow! Hit my head on the ceiling. Ah! Made it. Made it to the toaster. 
Poster of life and safety. Okay. You. And we got five minutes, by the way. Bubble! Alright. Ah! Okay. Oh, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna game over on the next part, aren't I? I don't know, are you? Ah, uh, pretty. Well, no. I'm gonna. Nope. I'm gonna enter the level before that, because I game over. Yeah. Back to the dungeon. Oh well. Hey, green birds. That's Annoying the thing else bird. that the sequel I has in this game. way less in, uh, death blocks. In the second one? Yeah, way less death blocks in the sequel. Like, they still used a bit, but not nearly as much. They're not used as a crutch for level design. I think that was ah. part of the joke, though. Still. The first one. The first... I feel like a lot of things were done deliberately. The bad decisions. Like, like whether or not it's deliberate or not, there is a, there is always the risk of playing the trope straight when you're trying to divert, to divert it. Or parody it. Which... Still makes sense for this game. Oh, yeah. It, it perfectly a valid sense for this game. Even if it wasn't deliberate, it still makes sense. Yeah. Because, well, maybe the end. I actually own a game made by LJN. Really? Which one? Which? Um, the, uh... That Spider-Man X-Men one. Ah. The Super Nintendo one. Spider-Man Maximum Carnage? No, not that one. Not that one. Uh, it's a sp it's called Spider-Man X-Men Arcade's Revenge. I've never heard of it. Um, it was, I, I did... It's gold... I did it with gold once in our CGGP thing I, we did. It is the one of the few SNES games I've owned, but I've never beaten. It is brutal. But the music's actually good in that one. Wait, 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 which one is this? This is that one where we were playing as Spider-Man the whole time. Oh, 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 the Spider-Man Oh, I was from that, the, from the tough game, Grand Prix. Yeah. Welcome to the one hard game I owned as a child and still never beat. I mean, I own Super Monkey Ball 1, so... I was in pain. It's... A lot. Yeah, but Super Monkey Ball is probably easier than that. Uh, have you played that game? Um, Which one? Super I dare Monkey you to play Spider-Man X-Men Arcade's Revenge and beat it without save states. GameCube arcade game with ball physics. And uh, not exactly something that you Did can they? Get. Can you save? No. Oh. Hmm. Maybe comparable then. Port. It's a perfect port of an arcade game with a few additional features, but no save button. So no save feature at all? No le no save feature. It's level, any level, li uh, How many lives do you get? Three lives, five continues. Any way to get extra lives? If you get a hundred bananas. Oh, <laughs> so maybe it is harder than I thought. I don't know. Got him. Well, can there's you three. run out of ammo? Yay, uh, two levels. There's three, technically four difficulties in, in Super Monkey Ball. The Let's first one is actually easy. The second and third one are painful. And the fourth one... Uh, you don't play the fourth one, unless you're a madman. <laughs> so it's Fight Club? No. It's Master Difficulty. Oh, no. Okay, okay, I guess I'll try the next one, the the future level. Because rolling, rolling a ball is in that game is so dang precise that you will easily kill yourself just from the slightest of incorrect movements. Uh, okay. So it's different from the Mario Galaxy thing, right? Very different. Is that easier? Like it, it, Mario it, Galaxy is easier, exactly. right? Like, d like just, the just, just, just those levels. The original arcade release used an actual trackball. That was easier. The control. Slightly. Okay. Like the GameCube controller for it is also very good. It's like a, it's just fundamentally a very good game, but it's very hard. Oh, well. Well, there you go. I think the one I was trying to compare it to is not a good game. And since it was an early two thousand arcade. Oh, come on. How many seconds left? Yeah, 60 seconds. Alright. Get to the toaster! Get to the toaster! Oh. Oh. oh! What the hell is going on? What did I do wrong? I you picked this game. <laughs> Man, I didn't think that was a bad choice. I could have <laughs> been way meaner. Oh, I, I, no, no, I didn't say it was a bad choice. You just asked what you did wrong. <laughs> To be fair, wrong and bad can be often switched between each other if we're talking about the public agency. Is it time to stop yet? Uh, ten seconds. Um. 
That's a hot situation. Ow. Okay, what we will have. Alright, and pause everyone! Alright, catch us back next time for part three. Later, folks. See ya. See ya.